Hey everyone, so this is the challenge resolve. I will resolve the challenge that I gave you in the last time in the last video that you will need to apply auto layout on this UI in which we have the username, the password, the email and the sign up button. Okay, but in this video, I will silent the video. I, I will not tell you all the things that behind this. What I recommend you to do is do it on your own now and then come back later with me, check it with me. Okay, and the thing I want you to do is that just do it yourself, run on different devices to or in the preview mode to see if it looks good. If it doesn't, then come back with me to see that what constraints that you are missing. Okay, and as you go through the video in a, in a sec, then go to where I will do it slowly, but I will not tell you what is the idea behind that. And then what I want you to do is for each of the constraints that I add into this screen, I want you to think behind that. Why why do I add that constraints? Is it an X position? Is it a Y position? Is it the width or is it the height? All right, so let's get started. All right, so that is that for all of our constraints. But you see that the password uh, label and the password text fields, it is highlighted in yellow or in um, orange. Okay, the reason for that is the frame is not properly placed as we are telling auto layout. So that's why in the document outline, which is the um, little navigator over there, you can click into this icon. Okay, there will be an orange or yellow arrow over here. So what I want you to do, if you have this problem, then just click over that and then select on these. Okay. If you think that, that you apply auto layout correctly, then you can select update the frames. The frames is the position, the, the actual UI, okay, the elements in the canvas. All right. And then you want to update the frame to the position that you want telling Xcode. Okay. And in this case, we have both the password and the text field. So what I want you to do if you have this, um, you have this problem, you just click into this apply to all views in container. Okay. And then we'll fix the misplacement and everything will be good. Okay. All right. So that's that. That's great. So in the next video, I want to show you, we'll work on a new app. This app is the motivational random quotes app that we built in the very first course after the Learn Swift course. Okay. So in this, uh, in this app, um, we will learn to develop the UI for this motivational random quotes. And this, this will strengthen your knowledge about constraints and we'll go over that one by one constraint together all right so i see you in the next video hey guys is the did you like this tutorial if you did you can do two things now to continue your journey first you can subscribe to my channel right here which i hope you will so that i can continue sending you more tutorials on a weekly basis and second you can join developers academy today start learning iOS development and get your first two weeks free by clicking the link on the screen right now. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, 
craft your ideas and contribute to the world.